Hello, welcome to the Pro Ledger's Android app tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can use the app on your smartphone or tablet to enter receipts. You can take pics of receipts, which will automatically attach themselves to the bookkeeping entry. You can also attach other types of files to the bookkeeping entry, such as PDFs that were scanned by your scanner or, or even images that were emailed to you. And they all archive themselves into a nice folder. You can remove and edit bookkeeping entries and you can view summary reports. Let's take a look at that app. Once you've installed the app, you're going to see the icon for it. So you just simply click on it to open it. When you first open it, you're going to see three options, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive. And these are your own accounts. So the idea of the app is that it does not create bookkeeping files, but it'll work with existing files that you must have created in the desktop software. So before you can use the apps, you need to go to your desktop software and create a bookkeeping file. Once you've done that and put it into one of these, these three folders on your computer, it'll then be accessible with this app. If you have questions about how to set these up, you can watch our video in the FAQ page of the uh, ProLedgers.com website that talks about how to use this system on multiple computers or devices. And it's also mentioned in the intro video to the software. Anyway, let's say you've created a bookkeeping file and you've put it into your OneDrive folder. So we're going to go there now and access, access our bookkeeping file. Okay, we're inside of our OneDrive folder, which is the, and you'll see all the files that are in your OneDrive folder on your computer listed here. But the one you're looking for, you're looking for bookkeeping files specifically. And these are going to be all ending in dot ledger. So in this example, I've only got one bookkeeping file to select. So we're going to be choosing that one. Once we've loaded, you're going to see that we've got our main screen for the app. In the main screen of the app, you're going to see all our bookkeeping files. And you can just scroll up and down the, file, the, the records with your finger. And at the bottom, you can see that there's two buttons, record, which is the screen we're on now. And the other screen is report. And here you can see the various reports that are available to you. Now at the top of the screen, you're going to notice there's four filter buttons and you can filter out the records and just see the ones based on the filter selected. So for a specific month or for a v just visa transactions or different account transactions or different categories. Let's say you just want to see your automotive gas and oil entries or classes such as personal or business or both. So anyway, you got options here to choose different filters. So for example, let's say you want to choose entries just for the month of January. You would just click on January and you would simply see records just for that particular month. You can also combine filters. So if you want to have something for January, just your visa transactions, then you could select that as a secondary filter and just choose to see those. The same thing works with the reports. The reports are completely dynamic. So if you just wanted to see the, the uh, financial statement for January, just choose January and you'll see just that. Okay, so that's really all there's to it. It's a very simple system to operate and to navigate. The, also, the other thing I'll mention to you is that if you want to delete an entry, you can see at the top it says swipe to delete. So you would just simply swipe it and it would ask you do you want to delete the record, yes or no. And the other button that's at the top is this circle uh, arrows which means to sync the bookkeeping file. So if you haven't used the app in a while and you've left the bookkeeping file open and you've made entries on the desktop software or from uh, some other device to that file, before you start using and making entries here, you want to make sure you sync it and so that it reloads the file so you have all the freshest data that you're going to be working with. Okay, so let's see, how do you make a new bookkeeping entry? Well, you use that green circle with a plus sign and it shows you an enter record screen and very, very simple. You just go through the prompts just like you do in the desktop software. You can select your date, uh, you can select your you know, your account, let's say it's a savings account, let's say it's a business entry, and 
let's say it's advertising and promotion well let's just say it actually we can say let's say it's gas and oil you can choose from your pre written descriptions if you want which you can set up in your desktop software and then if you want you can even edit that here if you wanted to okay then you can put in the total on your receipt and now if you're using the one tax app now you can choose the taxes that apply here if there's a specific tax and you can also edit that tax manually or choose no tax and if you're using the no no tax software or app you won't see these tax options but anyway that's what happens here so if you put in the tax amount and then it gives you the net amount automatically and then you can just simply click that and it'll record and save the entry you have one more option though you can also add a receipt to the entry so if you went into the receipt manager you can now choose the green circle and add a image so you can take a photo using your camera or phone or you, of the receipt or you can choose from library too so if you chose from library in this example and you went into your OneDrive you, know, you can choose from various accounts that you have let's say you have a file in your OneDrive folder and under the images folder let's say we chose our gas receipt here and we wanted to attach this scanned image to our entry there you go and you, when you click on it you can now view the image of that receipt in the app so now we've created an app sorry I created a, an, an entry I should say with a receipt attached to it and we want to finish this we just click the green arrow and we've added that entry so let's just unfilter these entries then we can see what we've entered okay so anyway that's really all there's to it um, and at any point in time of course you could uh, go back and edit any of these entries as you wish well that's really all there's to it I hope you found the video helpful and thanks for tuning in